Praise the Lord. Greetings this morning in the wonderful name of our soon coming King, Yeshua, the Messiah. We thank God this morning for this wonderful opportunity He has given each and every one of us. Even where we have gone throughout the week, we bless the name of God this morning. And I greet every single one of us that are online viewing this day. From here to all parts of the world, even in the Caribbean, as far as United Kingdom, also in France and the rest of the Caribbean and also North America, we bless God and we thank God for a wonderful day of rest. The word of God says that it was good when they say unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. For we know that in Christ there is refuge, there is peace, there is love, and there is this joy, there is this unity in Christ. And for we know that for without Christ we are nothing, without Him we just will not see our way out. But blessed be the name of God for us and even taking us throughout this week let us pray father in heaven this morning i thank you for this opportunity once again even for this holy sabbath morning where you have allowed us this opportunity even to be here to worship and to call upon your name i thank you lord for allowing us to go through the week and even as we are here standing before your presence this day, may your Holy Spirit lead and direct us, O God, as we do service for thee. So we pray, O God, that the service, O Lord, will one's heart will be blessed this day. And where you will enable us, O Father Lord, to continue in such doing, where we all, O Father God, will be blessed at the end of the day. May you fill us with your anointing from above. And I pray that you will take the lead of this proceeding. And I say thank you for hearing our cry. In Yeshua's name I pray. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. This morning I'm excited to be here with you. And even to uh, worship God in such a wonderful way. We bless the name of God this day. So as we pray, as we start with this song. Oh come, let's magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Come and let's magnify the Lord with us this day. Hallelujah. Our sister Fiona, lead us in song. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, 
This morning, hallelujah, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, we pray that the Lord will bless you this day. Hallelujah. Let's turn with me in the book of Exodus, chapter 20. Let's recite Exodus 20. Hallelujah, this morning, amen. Exodus, chapter 20, and God. Speak all his words, saying, Thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness that is in the heavens above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I am the Lord thy God, a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercies unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor, do all thy works, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do anything. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless us this day, and we pray that the Lord will continue to lead his people and to guide us and to take us through in all that we are doing even on this holy Sabbath morning. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of God. We thank God and we pray even for the families that are out there and all those that are with us this morning. Continue to pray. Continue to be with the Lord. Allow the Spirit of God to lead you. Allow the Spirit of God to help you. Allow the Spirit of God to speak to you in all that you do, in all your ways, and in everything that you, you know, endeavor in this life, may the Holy Spirit of God lead and direct and protect you. Don't do anything on your own, but let the Spirit of God lead. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us do another song again this morning. Amen. We'll be singing. Song number 313, Take the Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Song th number 313. Amen. Take the name of Jesus with you. Child of sorrow and of hope, it will joy and comfort give you. Blessed be the name of God. Oh, 
God this morning. Oh, how sweet. We bless the name of God this morning. Oh, Father, and joy of heaven. Oh, precious name. Oh, how sweet. Oh, how sweet. Sing with us this morning. Oh, Father, and joy of heaven. Joy of heaven. Blessed be the name of God. Oh, the precious name of Jesus. How he thrills our soul with joy. Oh, hallelujah. We bless God. When his loving arms receive us. And these songs our tongues employ. Precious name. Abide in peace, hallelujah. 425. It's a joy to be in the house of the Lord this day, and I know also it's a blessing for you that are at home to be viewing us this morning. The word of God is going forth, and I know that you will be blessed this day, hallelujah. Whatever it is, whatever. You know, you're going through this morning. Let the Spirit of God lead you. And let the Spirit of God, you know, lead you and direct your thoughts, your path. And that you will be blessed along with your family, your kids. You'll be blessed this day. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is mine. God's abiding peace oh. is in my soul today. Yes, I feel, feel it, it now. now. Yes, I feel it now. He has taken all my doubts and fears away. Lord in me Hallelujah. a sweet and perfect rest in my right, in my right hand. 
I receive my sight And now I am happy all the day On the cross, at the cross Where I first saw the light God this morning. It was we glorify God this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. With what anguish and loss, oh, Jesus, Jesus went to the cross, but he, he carried my sins, sins with him there. Sing again. They are nailed, nailed to, to the, the cross. cross. They are nailed to, to the, the cross. cross. To bear. With what I wish and Oh, Jesus went. Jesus went to Blessed the be the name of God. But he carried my, my seed with him there. Oh, they are nailed they are to nailed. the cross. They are nailed, nailed to, to the, the cross. cross. With what anguish and loss, Jesus went to the cross, but he carried my seed with him there. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw. God this morning we glorify his name this morning blessed be the name of God hallelujah if you try Jesus he will never fail you many times we tried we have tried all kind of things in our lives and sometimes we never succeed but this morning I'm telling us try him he will not fail you friends may fail you hallelujah your job may fail you your doctor may fail you but I know once you try Christ allow him to come through allow him to speak to you he will never fail you he will never leave you that he said and he will never forsake you hallelujah for we got to try him this morning blessed be the name of God hallelujah hallelujah and this morning we will be calling upon our preacher this morning and he will be doing a sermon this morning entitled a change is gonna come as we welcome brother Cyril in Jesus name amen
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. We give God thanks and we honor Him today, which is the Lord's Day, uh, the seventh day of rest. Thank you, um, Pastor Hippolyte. I make you understand today that a change is going to come. I know some of us here, we are tired of living this life. Some of us, we have failed over and over again. But I guarantee you today that if you take Jesus as your personal savior, that change will come. I want to thank God for our listeners, those who just join us online. May God continue to bless you wherever you are this morning, all over the world. And we know that um, the world is just mourning and uh, worldly leaders defining strategy and putting things in place and what I will call the new normal. But I'm telling you, that God is ready to make a change in this world and the question that I want you to ask yourself is are you ready for that change or will you be ready for when that change happens we heard of so many deaths and um, many things are happening lots of disappointment discouragements but i want to thank god for today of verse i want to thank god for his grace and his mercy towards us i want to thank god for what he has done for us and what he's about to do in spite of all those headache and those chaos and and havoc going on and man running to and through no one knows where they're going but today let us have that peace of mind on the sabbath day which god gave men the sabbath day of rest to worship him to glorify his name and whereby men today on their own but now millions are resting they're not resting because today is the sabbath day they're resting because there is a current situation in this world now so they have known it of they can do nothing but just rest when the bible says that they will come where well, every tongue and every knee will bow at his feet father we want to thank you we want to be bless your name we glorify you lord because you are awesome you deserve lord our worship and our praise and I pray, Lord, even for our frontline workers, our first responders, Lord, so many that they give their life, my God. So many of them, Father, they have died, Father, out of this virus. And Lord, we let us remember, Lord, our, their families. And I pray, Lord, right now, those, Father, that listening, Father, to this live stream, Father, that this word will find root in their heart and it will go and it will resonate and they will take this time seriously my god and they will repent from their sin and accept you as your indwelling and personal savior bless us in jesus name i must say welcome to everyone thank you so much and God has been good to us. A change is going to come. This morning, I want to start with, with a hymnal. And I'm going to borrow a few words from an old hymn. And it reads, it says, Jesus is coming to earth again. What if, what if it were today? 
coming in power and love to reign. The question still asks, what if it were today? Coming to claim his chosen bride, all the redeemed and purified. Satan's dominion will then be over. Sorrow and shine shall be no more. Then shall the dead in Christ arise, caught up to meet him in the skies. When shall these glories meet our eyes? Faithful and true would he find us here, watching in gladness and not in fear. Let me suggest to you this morning that your change is on the horizon. And it's not too far. Let me make you understand that Jesus Christ is coming to make a complete change in this world. We heard from announcement from our, our leaders, that is world leaders. There are a few changes like social distancing, wearing masks, and the list goes on. And we see about sanitizing hands. And they said you should sanitize your hands for 20 seconds. So which means that singing happy birthday for twice, that will be 20 seconds. Wow. Because everybody now has filled with fear of the coronavirus. And this virus has changed the way we communicate. This virus has changed the way we do things, the way we socialize. And in here is not more than five people. Everything has changed. So we call it the new normal. We adapt to that new normal. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 and 16, Paul is saying, See then that we walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Verse 16 reads, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. So Paul is saying to us now, we should walk circumspectly. To walk circumspectly means to walk cautiously. To look on your steps. In other words, to be vigilant. To be watchful. To be sober. And Paul now encourages us to say that we should walk sober. Not as fools, but as wise people. Because the days, brethren, and my people are evil. And the whole purpose of this virus and the whole purpose of what's happening in this world now, it's about having a new government system that will establish on this world. A new way of life. A new world leader. In other words, we put it as the new normal. So it's not wrong to wash your hands and and or to sanitize your hands if there is no soap or water. And they said avoiding touching your eyes and nose and mouth. And when you sneeze or cough, you do that in the end of your arm. And you avoid touching surfaces people touch often. That's we try and prevent and 
transmitting the disease. So far, almost more than 6 million people worldwide have been affected by this virus. 300,000 people have died. It reminds me of the text that says that death is just one step away from us. Now, people understood that death now is just one step away from them. It's a disaster. And this virus is just keep on moving and they're afraid of a, a second wave. God knows what's going to happen. World leaders, they have corrupted the people by exploiting and manipulating the mass. Able to control. And the whole purpose now is to bring in one world order. One world leader. One world government. One world currency and one world religion. And there are powerful men behind this. And these powerful men, they controlled governments, corporations, global currency, and religion. And the man who is behind this, I like the Bible state in Revelation, is the dragon. And that is Satan himself. So what Satan has done now, he has corrupted the world. And now he is in the church now, corrupting the church leaders. In what way that Satan has corrupted the world, the world leaders? One... By corrupting the word of God. Not accepting the Sabbath as today, the day of rest. And the mass accept the day of rest is Sunday. Now this comes from the father of lies. And that is Satan himself. Amen. Amen. The government gives holidays or the designate days for holidays. And they recognize different people on different days. But yet still, the Sabbath which was there from creation is still not accepted in this world by many. Just only a few. Have accepted the Sabbath as the day of rest. And many people have been persecuted by the word of God. And now, even the world now, they are thirsty and they want the word. But it is just for a time and just for a season. And after this virus is gone, if it's gone, then Jesus Christ becomes as nothing. The last news I heard on the virus, it says, it says that it's going to be there forever just like just like AIDS and the rest of the diseases that they had before in Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 the Bible says that God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts Of his heart was only evil continually. We are living in an evil world. And uh, there is no remedy for this world except Jesus Christ. He is the only one that will bring change. He is the only one that will bring happiness. He is the only one that will bring joy and peace of mind. I'm telling you, the change is going to come. And it's on its way. In Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9, Jeremiah says, The heart is dis deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who knows it? Who can know the heart? 
So man's heart now is just totally wicked. Let's go back to Genesis 6 verse 5. I'm going to reiterate what I just said. And God saw the wickedness of man was great. During the time of Babel and they decided to build a temple and they decided, you know what? I'm going to get to heaven. I'm going to reach. And man is not now man always want to reach to the star. It's not now man want to be on top. And they strive to be on top. And there is nothing wrong in striving to be on top. Because the Bible says we as children of God need to strive to be on top. But the thing is the intention of man. Man always want to rule. And to be the boss. But the fifth kingdom will establish. Amen. And we as children of God, or saints of God, we are awaiting for that change to come. When our bodies, when this physical body, this temporal body will change to immortality. And forever will be with God. So men and the ideas is always to defeat each other. So many things, men just going into labs and, 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 and create viruses and just to kill and, and depopulate the world. That's their intention. They want to be the one to, to be in control. But I'm telling you today to our listeners that God is in control. He's sovereign. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So it doesn't matter what you're going through now. I want you to hold on and be patient that your change will come in Jesus Christ. And no one can stop that change. No one can stop the king that will, that, the kingdom that will establish in this world. And that is the fifth kingdom. Hallelujah, brethren. So we need to start rejoicing. Amen. But before rejoicing, we need to go through persecution. Amen. But it doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Because I can, I can remember vividly when Raptors played 70, played the Sixers, Philly, in game seven. At the buzzer beater. And the ball bounced once, twice, thrice, and four times. Then it went into the net. And that was a basket, and they won. Our life will bounce back and forth. Bounce back and forth. But we will get the victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 7, 13 through 16. Enter he at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Verse 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Beware of false prophet which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly they are raven wolves. Verse 16. He shall know them by the fruits. Hallelujah. And do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? You see, Christ warned the disciples and also his followers. And he said, straight is the gate. In other words, the gate to Christ is difficult to some people. It's very challenging. But here now Christ is compared the straight gate and the white gate. He says in the straight gate only few will be there. 
Only few you will find. Only few serving the Sabbath. Only few resting today as today is the Sabbath day. Only few serving God. Only few recognizing there is a creator. And the world just didn't come just like um, the evolution, just like a big bang. Only a few. But he says now, broad is the way. Broad is the way with all the nightclubs, all, all the fans, and the excitement. And pursuing after, after the things of this world that vanishes the way. And the scripture continues to say, it says, many there be which go in their heart. The broad way that leadeth to destruction. In verse 15, Christ says, beware of false prophet. Hallelujah. And this is, is very important to us today. Because what have happened that Satan have entered into the, into the hearts of world leaders. And they have corrupted the world. And that they have made everything as though it's so easy. You don't need to worship on the Sabbath day. You don't, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. It's only by grace and his mercy. Yes, it is by grace and his mercy. But at the same time, there are requirements. And they, they keep on going and to deceive many. And the new norm is man and man, woman and woman. And they have changed the definition of family and marriage. This is a corrupt world. The Bible says they had. All what the heart seeks to do is only wickedness. Only wickedness, people. So I'm calling you, those who haven't accepted Christ, I'm calling you to come out of her. Come out of this, th those churches. Come out. God is calling you right now. Come out. Because he's going to come with his change. Because they have changed the law of God. They have done a lot of things to the people of God. And many things will be done because we are heading for the persecution now. And we need to be ready. So God is saying, come out. Come out of her, my people. That he may not be partakers of a sin. So God now is calling you. It's not too late to do it. It doesn't take a thousand years to do it. You can do it right now where you are and ask God to forgive you. Repent from your sin. Because this world is not getting better. And the government and our world leaders, our president, our prime ministers, our mayor, our premier, they just keep on lying and lying to us. But the Bible says that we thank God because he is faithful. And God cannot lie. Whatever he says will happen it will happen whatever he promised it will happen it will fulfill hallelujah praise be to god so we are here as saints of god anticipating to see our king our ruler and now during that reign with christ that will be the new normal amen praise god hallelujah so there's two new normals coming now we're already in one and that's the world. But now we know when Christ will rule the earth, this will be the new normal. The Bible said the old things have passed away. Heaven will pass away. The earth will pass away. And this will be the new normal. Hallelujah. Nothing in this world will be in the next world to come. No. There will be a new world leader. A king that will rule forever. I'm telling you today that the gate is a jar for you. The door is wide open. Christ says, I am the door. Hallelujah. If any man wants to come, all what he has to do, just knock at the door and he will open. He said, he that seeketh findeth. He that accepts will receive. And our only hope in this world is Jesus Christ. 
Not the Jesus Christ the world representing. Not the Jesus Christ on, on Easter. Not the Christmas Jesus Christ. No. This is not the Jesus Christ. We here discussing the Jesus Christ from creation. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So now, this world now, it's a, it's a new lifestyle. You have to stay two meters away, roughly six feet apart. And there is not much we can do. But let me remind you. They said that we should sanitize our hands often. We should wash our hands often. Which is very good. But during the time you're washing your hands and you're sanitizing your hands, are you spiritually sanitizing your hands and your hearts? Psalm 24 verses 1 through 5. And it reads, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that have a clean hands. In other words, he that constantly washing his hand. Now, this is not representing physical washing. This is spiritual washing. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And he that have a pure heart. Who have not lifted up his souls unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So God, so David is saying today, my friend, that he that have a what? A clean hands. So in order for us to prevent that coronavirus from transmitting and, and also protect ourselves, we should Continue to wash our hands. So whilst you're washing your hands, I make sure that your mind's been washed. Amen. Your heart's been washed. Your spirit been renewed. So that, in other words, what I mean by this in layman terms is to change your mind. Is to transform. Change your attitude. Change the, 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 the drinking. Excess. Change it. Change your way of life. Because Jesus Christ will never change to suit us. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God. We have to change in order to suit Jesus Christ. He's not going to do it. The Bible says that he died once unto sin. And after that's it. He's not going to come back. He came as a baby. He came as a sheep. To the slaughter. But he's not coming back like this anymore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But Jesus Christ is coming back as a king. To rule the earth with the new normal. Hallelujah. And it is only those hands that wash. And those hearts that are clean and pure. That will be with Christ. And he's not coming back as a sheep anymore. He's coming back as a lion. To conquer. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Oh how great. This will be, that day will be when we, the saints, will be together. Amen. We'll be in that huge and big family of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So fears are looming in the horizon. So how can you search for peace in a shadow, dark, and lonely world? How can we, how can we find peace in this world? It's so dark and lonely. And there is, there, there is no remedy. Millions of people have lost their jobs. Millions. Something that never happened before. Man, in other words, I think the world has reached its zenith. It has reached its peak. Luke 9, 23 through 26. Let's follow with me. And it reads, verse 23. And he said to them all, 
if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself. In other words, what Christ, what Christ is saying that if you want to follow him, you need to change your ways. You need to transform. You need to renew. So you cannot just come to Christ anyhow, but you need to change. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And if you go by what's happening today and you follow government and you follow world leaders and you forsake the things of God, the Bible said you want to save your life now, but you're going to lose it in the, in, in the new kingdom. You're going to lose it in the new world when Jesus will be king. So it is better to lose your life right now for his sake he says but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it hallelujah praise be to god somebody wherever you are right now i'm, put, I'm saying put your hands together and clap for jesus because jesus said if we lose now if they kill us now but we know for sure it's guaranteed that we're gonna be with him in the new jerusalem hallelujah praise be to god oh mighty king you are worthy god hallelujah so we understand like the scripture says that a man's life does not consist of the abundance of the thing that he has so your life does not consist of all the, the wealth that you have your life is in jesus christ so if you want to obtain uh, everything in this world and yet still don't have christ the bible says you are nothing you are nothing the wisdom of this world is foolishness before god the knowledge of this world is foolishness before god hallelujah praise be to god verse 25 for what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world if he has if he has so many corporations and businesses and lands and cars and all the things of this world which consider to be achievements and lose himself or be cast away so you have a choice whether to save your life or enjoy it now and lose it when Christ returns so you have a choice Verse 26, for, whos, for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory and his fathers and of the holy angel. Hallelujah. I'm saying today, as I speak, I know right now many of you have reached the curly sack of your life. You have reached to a dead end. The world have put us on a standstill. And some of us have reached to a dead end. And we're figuring out which direction I should go. And you have the cardinal points. You, you figure it out whether it should go north, south, east, or west. We find ourselves in the cul-de-sac. And the question is, what are you going to do? Well, the Bible always have the answer. Hallelujah. The Bible always have the answer. Praise be to God. Oh, 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, now that's the church, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive the sin and will heal the land hallelujah praise be to god so brethren saints of god i know many of us we have we have gone some of us have been backslidden from the word some of us we come to church some of us we know christ but our hearts our spirit, our minds are far from God. We have drifted too far away from shore. God is calling upon us right now. God, I'm making that plea right now to come to Jesus. 
If people say, well, the word of God was myth and the Bible and everything was myth, now we see in the reality of it. The Bible says that those words were written by men that were inspired by the Holy Spirit to write these words. How can men be so accurate? Where in science, where every time they, they change a theory, there is always a hypothesis. There is always a theory. There is always a law. They all keep on changing and they keep on upgrading and new editions, new book. The Bible remains the same. It never changes. God never changed. In Romans 8, 18, Paul says, For I reckon, in other words, Paul is saying, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So what Paul is saying, that this new change is going to come, my beloved brethren, that Paul is saying, he have considered those things. He have reckoned those things. Deep thought on, uh, on all those things. That this suffering that we're going through, amen. That we cannot, we cannot come to church and worship God the way we want to. We cannot greet each other. Hallelujah. It's, it's so many rules and regulations. Now our, our churches are empty. The buildings are empty. Praise God. But I just want to thank God that the Spirit of God is not only in the building. The Spirit of God is in our temple. So wherever we go, the Spirit of God dwells there. So we are the church. Hallelujah. So Paul is saying that the suffering that we're going through, what that will, we, we will go through, amen, in this persecution, it doesn't compare to the glory of God. It doesn't compare to the things that God has in store for us, brethren. There'll be a time, the scripture says, there'll be no more pain. There'll be more, no more tears. There'll be no more sicknesses. There'll be no more social distancing or physical distancing. Hallelujah. We can greet each other. We can, we can praise God and we can glorify God. This time will come. But before this time comes, we know we have to go uh, uh, through a period, uh, uh, a trial free. We have to go through it. We have to go through the fire. But when we get through the fire, hallelujah, the results will be pure gold. Fine gold. Praise God. Hebrews eleven twenty five says, Moses, verse 25 says, Moses, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Hallelujah. i rather come here and preach the word of God. i rather come here and, and, and moderate than to go out there and, and do foolishness with my life knowing that I will lose it when Christ comes back. What is most important? Is it the things that we see or the things that is unseen? Hallelujah. And the scripture put it this way. The things that is sin, it is temporal. That is no hope because you see it. But we hope because we don't see. Amen. And the things that is unseen, it is eternal. It is forever. As I'm closing down. Human, being, human beings just love to be in bondage. Living in sin is bondage. When the children of Israel, when they left Egypt, after such a long distance, a long journey, They said, wow, we missed Egypt. You see, God has free us. And the, and the scripture says, whom the son of man has set free is free indeed. We should not allow sin to rule us. We have that freedom in Jesus Christ. We have received that freedom Shall we go back into sin? My friend, if you have not accepted Christ, I'm saying today right now, Christ died for us. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world unconditionally. 
that he gave his life for you so there is no more in sinning because the spirit of God able to prevent us from falling prevent us from sinning you can do the same I'm asking you right now to just stand just stand where you are just stand where you are close your eyes we're going to pray we're going to pray now A change is gonna come we are expecting a lot of changes to happen right now a lot of changes and you hear from all leaders they said that this life can never be the same as it was before so brethren and our 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 listeners I'm saying today that welcome to the new normal welcome to the new norm hallelujah but we not we should not be afraid of this because it is the spirit of God that sustains us it is the spirit of God that keeps us going it doesn't matter we hear there'll be a time we cannot come here we have this opportunity we can come here we can air we can broadcast this service but there will be a time you will not see you will not hear any in broadcast you will not hear about Mount Zion Church of God anywhere now is the opportune time and I'm asking you to seize on this opportunity father we want to give you praise we honor you God there are so many people dying some believe lord that there is no christ some of them have not fully understood what is to come or what is meant to serve you my god i pray lord that you may have pity upon them i know lord the changes we are now living in a new era but god Father, we thank you for the strength. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit and for the guidance that you show us this thing will come to pass and after will be the establishment of our Lord and Jesus Christ, the fifth kingdom. So we pray for those who have no hope. We pray, Lord, for those who just right now maybe they just feel like ending their life and commit suicide or take on the whole family, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus that you may rebuke all those spirits. Cover them, Lord. Cover this city. Cover, cover our leaders, my God. And I pray, Lord, help us that we may continue to preach the word. We know, Lord, we will go into prison for the word, but Lord, we don't care, mighty Father, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, my Father. We're going to continue to serve you. We rather serve God than man. We rather suffer now. We know for sure, Lord, we'll be rejoicing. I pray, Lord, that you may continue to bless us. Bless, Father, all our listeners. We thank you so much. And may your Holy Spirit be with them and may they change their mind and they may accept you and find a place find a pastor find a minister a deacon or somebody lord they can reach out to and they can accept you as their personal savior we thank you again in your son jesus christ yeshua mahashiach we say hallelujah hallelujah god bless you hallelujah may god bless you Thank you so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed be the name of God. We give God thanks. We give Him praise. We give Him glory. Majesty and might belongeth to Him. We bless the name of God. Thank you, Brother Cyril. A wonderful sermon and I pray that we that are at home listening I believe and I trust God that our souls are blessed this day and I just want to thank God 
for this opportunity hallelujah we've gone through the week we've heard of so many things happen but at the same time thank god we are on the land of the living we are not among the dead hallelujah we're gonna do that song and i strongly believe that you're blessed this day after hearing such wonderful word from the lord it is not him but god have spoken amen hallelujah and as we do this song we're going to bring this portion to an end and after we will have our praise and worship hallelujah blessed be the name of god lord i come to you as we sing let my heart be changed may you allow the spirit of god to take control of your life Let the word of God be established. Hallelujah. That I found Wherever you are, you. I know some of us are watching this service online this day. Lord, you that are in the United Kingdom, to know you that are in France, I know you're watching. May the Lord bless you. I see. Especially those in the Caribbean, in, me, in St. Lucia, I know you're there, you're with us. Away. May the Holy Spirit fill your temple at this moment. Hallelujah. By the power of your and just be blessed this day. Hallelujah. We bless God. Hallelujah.
there is none above, Lord. There is none below, Lord. Your spirit leads me on. We put our hope, put our faith in you, Lord. Oh, blessed are be your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Worship with us this morning. Oh. morning hallelujah we're gonna ask God's favor on your behalf this day and even in this week ahead that the Holy Spirit will lead our thoughts and our mind and that the Lord will make a way hallelujah even if there seems to be no way in your life God will make a way let us pray father in heaven i thank you lord and i bless you for this day we are at home listening oh god i ask and i pronounce a special blessing upon every soul oh god may your holy spirit fill the temple at this moment even in this very time of quarantine we pray oh god that your spirit your anointing will be upon every individual along with the husband the wives the kids oh god they that are single they that are without a job without food oh god even without shelter we pray for a blessing may your holy spirit go oh forth lord and that you oh god will bring a change oh father god in the lives of those individuals that are out there that are without hope bring hope lord they that have no comfort comfort them we pray and may you go oh lord i pray this day and bring a change in the life of the individuals that their life will be completely changed and that they will serve you lord and they will receive you in their hearts the Holy Spirit, oh God, will fill the temple. I come against every walk of darkness in the lives, Lord, and I rebuke it in the name of Yeshua. Oh, Father God, I rebuke all manner of evil and darkness that has come and compassed them around. I rebuke it in Yeshua's name. Mighty God, we say thank you for this day. Thank you, oh God, for those viewing online. Wherever they are, bless each and every soul. And may your Holy Spirit fill us this day. In the mighty name of your Holy Son, Yeshua, the Messiah, I pray. I say thank you in Yeshua's name. May the Lord richly bless you. Until next week, as we move to the next segment of our service. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, hallelujah.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Him. We 
want to thank God for his love for the love that saved us even before we took a breath he loved us even before he knew us and we just want to thank God we want to just be grateful for his love for his unconditional love Before I took your breath, you breathed your life in me. Cause you have been so, so kind to me. Before I spoke the word, you paid it all for me. Cause you've been so, so kind to me Cause all oh, the overwhelming, never ending Reckless love of God Oh, it chases me down Fights till I'm found And these are 99 And I couldn't earn it I don't deserve Still you give yourself away Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending Reckless love of God Say Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending Reckless love of God Come on, it chases me down it chases me down Fight still Shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No walls you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. Oh, 
Beyonce Oh, it chases Oh, it chases Winds me down fast Lives in love 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 Lives in love
good. Praise the Lord. Can we just hear you say hallelujah? Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, you deserve it. God, you've been faithful. God, you've been wonderful. Oh, God, say hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We hallelujah. As we're in the mix, we just want God to just have his way. We want him to have his way in our lives. And whatever that is not of him, we just want it to remove it from us. Because we want to walk like him, we want to talk like him. Whatever that is happening on earth, we want it to be happening on. Whatever is happening in heaven, we want it to happen on earth.
It does not mean that you take it out of me. It does not please that you take it out of me. It does not please that you take it out of me. Cause it would not please it to you Take it out of me Cause it would not please it to you Take it out of me If it's not please it to you Take it out of me And have your way Come on, if it's not please it to you Just to do that part, Lord, have your way, have your way. Hey, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. God. Have your way. Lord, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Is the greatest power we shall never, never be defeated. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never, never be defeated.
defeated And because God is the greatest power We shall never, never be defeated Come on, say because God And because God The devil is a liar, God is exalted, never be defeated, I'll never be defeated. The devil is a liar, and God is exalted, I'll never be defeated, I'll never be defeated.
to dismiss let this songs go to go up to you as a sweet smelling savor let your presence continue to be among your people bless your people and keep your people lord we ask you lord to send your holy spirit lord to comfort us where we need to be comforted to heal us lord if we need healing lord we thank you and we praise you for who you are you're jehovah jireh you're jehovah rapha we love you lord and we thank you Hallelujah. Don't give up on God. Hallelujah. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, 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 oh. He's able. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, oh, oh, he's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Oh, 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 oh,
my God, He does miraculous things. Oh.